Hey guys, what's up? I'm actually gonna do a really, really, really short video right now. From probably not gonna be long at all, but um, I'm just gonna be showing a few of my mage transmog ideas that I have right now. Um, as you can see, this is what I'm using right now. It's blue. Um, my name is Frost, so that's what I'm doing. I'm pretty much a Frost transmog. It's pretty cool. I need to change my hair, and I need to get a waist. But other than that, I like it. It's blue. Um. It all fits together pretty well, and it's really, really easy to get. So I can show you what uh, it is. Blue overalls for the chest, uh, sky woven mantle for the um, shoulder pads, and this surprisingly fits really, really well with the blue in the pants, uh, the overall, sorry. Um, I'm not really sure if I have a mask, if I have a face that works really well with this, but um... Uh, I might have one, actually. I might not, I don't know. Um, this is kind of just like a few general ideas that I think work well. And this is obviously for Frost, and it could work for Arcane as well. Arcane, I guess, is kind of bluish. You know, that's blue, that's blue, that's blue, that's blue. That's bluey. That's blue. That's pretty blue. You know, Arcane is pretty blue. So that's what I have for um, Frost and Arcane. Obviously, I need to get a new belt, but other than that, I think it looks pretty decent. Um, I guess I can go over everything else. I have the Kelisath Sublate of Evocation. That's just from a uh, normal Wrath of the Lich King dungeon. I think it is from... Uh, I can't remember. What I think it's Elkhart Keep. Yup, here it is. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And I think it fits really well with the set. And it's very magey looking too. It's pretty cool. So um, I'm going to show you what I have for a fire set. This, my belt and my hairstyle fits a lot more with this set. So I have the Outlander's face wrap of the Sorcerer. You can get whatever you want for that. Um, you can also use Circle of Flame. There are a few ideas I have working for this. I also have like a Mario set that I'm going to show in a future video, but not this set. So if you want to look like Mario, yeah, stay tuned for my channel. I'll have a uh, Mario looking mage pretty quick here. So, so I'm going to use the Circle of Flame right now. For shoulders, for my fire set, I'm going to use the Starfire Mantle. I think it works well. For chest, I'm using my Crimson Silk Vest. I think that works really well. For bracers, I'm using my Consortium Bracer. For my weapon, um, I'm going to be using Torturing Poker. This weapon no longer exists, actually, in the game. But you can find the wep you can find uh, several weapons that look identical to it, so it's not horribly difficult to get. And there is actually a uh, offhand that looks just like the Torturing Poker, so you can look like you're dual-wielding Torturing Pokers, which looks really awesome. But right now, I'm using the... Uh, record of mysterious deeds from my offhand. And that looks okay, it's red. And that's really all I care about. Um, for my gloves, I'll be using the uh, Firehawk gloves. Actually, no, I'm not. I think I'm just going to go for heavy linen gloves. Those work really well with this set. You can use Firehawk gloves. You can also... Yeah, I think Heavy Linen is also probably the best match. Heavy Linen and Firehawk Gloves work well with this set. For legs, I am using the Snarlmouth Leggings. Um, these are actually really easy to get. Um, you can get them from the Ragefire Chasm first boss. So, really, really easy to get. Unless you're in the Alliance, then may God have mercy on your soul. There are probably other leggings that uh, have the same uh, look as this, though. And for my uh, final for boots, I'm using linen boots. So this is my fire mage set. Um, the waist doesn't work perfectly with it. The shoulders don't work work per <laughs> perfectly, but um, I think it's an okay looking set. Uh, the belt is a little. It's a different shade of red than everything else, and the shoulders have like l uh, golden uh, a golden trim. And some 
uh, gray too that I don't really have anywhere else. So um, I'm gonna need to find some new shoulders, but I'll keep you guys updated on these sets. Maybe come out with um, the updated version of this video pretty soon. I just got the suggestion and I just wanted to kind of put out a video on it. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm using for Fire Mage and this is what I'm using for Arcane and Frost. I might come up with a different transmog um, for Arcane. But I think this works pretty well for Frost actually. And I like it a lot. And it's really easy to get. That's one thing I like about it. <laughs> Along with it looking pretty decent. It's actually really easy to get, and it doesn't cost a lot of money, and there are a few items from dungeons that are also easy to get. So I'm going to check really quick something here. Sometimes, you know, you can get lucky on the auction house and find some awesome belts and whatnot. So that kind of works. Not really. Uh, I don't think there are any amazing looking belts on the auction house right now that actually fit. Um... You know, I might use that seer belt. It's not the worst looking belt in the world, and I might want it for a different set, and it's only like six gold, so. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm actually going to be coming out with an update video, and uh, if you guys want me to be more in depth about the items, like telling you guys how hard they are to obtain, and telling you guys how I obtain them, I can definitely do that. Um, but for right now, that's kind of a. Uh, a pretty basic guide of what my mage is using. Um, mages aren't extremely amazing at soloing stuff, so if there's like an item that's in like a cataclysm raid or something, I'm probably not going to be able to get that unless I actually get with a group and, uh, you know, do that with other people instead of soloing it, because mages aren't the best. They're not horrible at soloing. I mean, they have some shields, absorbs. And they can, they have a few self heals here and there too, but they just, they're not like blood death knights or hunters or anything. They aren't awesome like that, or at least I'm not good enough to be awesome like that as a frost mage. So maybe you guys are, maybe you guys can solo some awesome stuff, some cataclysm, wrathless king stuff. So probably not going to see that kind of stuff on my channel though. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll come out with an updated version of this video pretty soon. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Blah. And I'm not really sure what video I'm going to make next. Probably going to be possibly another Warlock video, or whatever. Maybe a, maybe a Mage video. You know, whatever. We'll see. Mages get some awesome talents at level 100, so I might want to, you know, get this guy geared up and ready actually like learn the mage class. I'm not I'm not that amazing with mages even though they're not horribly difficult to play. But whatever. I'll leave that stuff for another video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll smell you later.